people of the world, I, Willy Wonka, have decided to allow five children to visit my factory. So why was uh, this film something you wanted to get involved with so much? The magic and the beauty of this story, the, uh, the, the brilliant uh, uh, work of Roald Dahl, and just the opportunity to, to translate that into cinema was uh, a great challenge, and, uh, but a fun one. So is it being Willy Wonka, was it being in a children's film, was it being a part of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, well, what was it that attracted you? There was a couple of elements, you know, to have a chance to inhabit Willy Wonka for a while and, and uh, take him in a different direction and, and kind of try to imagine what, what type of Wonka Roald Dahl would like to see today. You, little girl, say something, anything. Chewing gum. Chewing gum is really gross. Chewing gum I hate the most. See? Exactly the same. No, it isn't. Uh, you really shouldn't mumble, because I can't understand a word you're saying. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is a great book. Why do you think Roald Dahl got it so right? He, he found a thread of something and ran with it and ran beautifully. His, it's just his imagination, you know, it's just a great gift that he had. Not only for language and writing and talent, but imagination. And this is hair toffee. You suck down one of these little boogers, and in exactly half an hour, a brand new crop of hair will start growing out all over the top of your little noggin. Are you a Roald Dahl fan? Have you read any of his books? Be familiar with any? Oh, sure, yeah. Huge fan. Huge fan of Roald Dahl's. I'd uh, been reading the, uh, the book to my daughter, which is great fun. You know, just great, great fun. Have you read any of, of his other books at all? Sure. Uh, uh, the Great Glass Elevator was, uh, was amazing. And years and years ago, the, uh, the BFG... Uh, which is... And going back to the film, which was the scene that was most fun to film? I guess a lot of the stuff in the TV room was really fun. Looking into the television when Mike TV was that big. Oh, thank heavens. He's completely unharmed. Unharmed? What are you talking about? Certainly the Chocolate River was astounding. You know, this massive waterfall. Thank you very much for talking to Blue Peter. I can't let you go, though, without giving you a Blue Peter badge. Wonderful. That's great. I'm honoured. Thank you. <laughs> nice wow. Lizzie, Lizzie Wonka. <laughs>